So when you're trying to um, change the uh, advanced settings of, uh, of the NVIDIA card, like say changing the output uh, from RGB to, uh, to 422 or 420 10-bit or 12-bit settings, what um, you'll probably need is the NVIDIA control panel when you right-click on your desktop. But the problem is like when you um, you you are for for some of you just like I have encountered is that this control panel is missing. When that thing is missing, this is how you bring it back. Or if you haven't, or if you already have um, installed the uh, the experience, the Nvidia game experience. So first is yes, you go to um, to NVIDIA and download the necessary drivers for your card and then once you have it downloaded um, go to your downloads and um, double click on the package installer and go to the process so the key here is that when you uh, start the um, installer is you, you select the NVIDIA graphics driver only um, don't select the, the default one and when you clear that don't click on express press on custom and then you'll see that if you have the GeForce experience previously uh, installed, um, you will need to click on this one. So what, what happens is that um, Windows will uninstall the drivers and uninstall the, the GeForce experience and you're back to the, um, like using the built-in Windows driver. And then it will ask you to reboot and then once it's finished rebooting, it will reinstall the NVIDIA the, uh, graphics uh, drivers only. And then once you have that done, and I think it will ask you to reboot again. And once everything is all installed, you will have that uh, NVIDIA control panel back. Whatever you do, do not install the NVIDIA control panel from the Microsoft app store i haven't tried that myself but if you look at you google it you will see a multitude of problems in like you know um, when it comes to that and um, probably not advisable to go through that whole ordeal